how long have you been using Microsoft PowerPoint? 10 years? 15 years? Maybe before the internet? Hi, Audrey Thomas with Organize Audrey, bringing you a productivity pointer today that will help you be a rock star when it comes to using PowerPoint. The first tip that I wanna to give to you is that blackouts are sometimes an okay thing. In other words, you might have the need to draw your audience's attention away from the screen up to you as the presenter. And you can do that by building in a black slide or hitting the, the blackout uh, key on a, on a remote control that you might be using. But if you're using your laptop keyboard, all you have to do is hit the B key and it will give you a black screen. And hitting the B key again will bring your presentation back. And in the event you are presenting in a room that has no natural lighting, use the W key to give you a white screen. Hit that B key to bring your presentation back. Next up, it's also important in today's day and age where everybody's got other things to go to and more meetings to go to, to keep a steady pace in your presentation. And how do you do that? Well, I do that by inserting a timestamp in the lower right-hand corner of my presentation slides. Most people don't even notice that it's there, but it's a great guide to me because oftentimes the rooms I'm presenting in don't even have a clock. And the last thing I wanna do is be looking at my wristwatch or be picking up my phone to see how I'm doing on time. So you can do this really easily within PowerPoint by hitting that insert tab along the top ribbon when you're in PowerPoint and then choosing the time and date fields to be able to populate that. And then you can choose where on your slide that you want it to actually show. Like I said earlier, I like mine in the lower right hand corner. Next tip is it's really important to keep your cool and be in control when you're presenting. And sometimes we have interruptions coming our way. Sometimes it's technology issues. And there's times where you feel like you need to fast forward through some of your slides in order to stay on time, but you don't want your audience seeing you fast forwarding all the slides to get to where you're gonna be uh, to pick up your presentation. So how do you do this? Well, while you're in, um, you know, you're presenting, just hit the G key. And as the presenter on your laptop in front of you, you'll see all the slides of your deck and you can now just click on the one that you wanna to jump to and your audience has no idea that you've just skipped several different slides. And the final tip that I wanna to give to you is sometimes it's important to emphasize something that's on your screen. For example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on this slide here so you can see what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's important to do that magnification. So when you're in presenter mode in PowerPoint, up in the upper left-hand corner is a little magnifying glass. Just click on that and you'll see how easy it is to zoom in on one of your slides. If you enjoyed these tips on PowerPoint, would you consider hitting the subscribe button below? I hope you have enjoyed this productivity pointer brought to you by Organized Audrey, where our goal is to help you get more done with less stress. Make it a great day.